Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I've been prepping up the entire morning for a tomorrow job. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that I also bought a grapple, a new one at least, uh, for the skid steer. The old one I had, it just it didn't work right and I kind of tacoed it a wee bit. So I got this nice beefy cat grapple. This thing weighs a half a ton, literally. It looks like 1,020 pounds. I think that they actually use all the good steel, so shouldn't have any issues of this thing bending. Um, of course, I re-greased everything, uh, cleaned up the entire machine. Inside's nice and clean again. Greased up the entire machine out here. Clean the air filter, make sure oil's still good. One issue with Kubota, where they have their uh, manifold here for all the quick connects, these are always going to hit this unless they have like some super low profile quick coupler i don't see it ever not hitting so you just with this system you just got to be careful if you tilt back all the way and you have your grapples open it's going to hit these hydros um that's the only downside i know on cats they actually have them back a little bit more and they're down they're well out of the way this is just this is kind of dumb i don't know how Kubota would do their grapple not to hit it. Maybe they have something else that I don't even know of. But I, my, my friend works at Cat, so I I want to benefit him. So I'm going to be getting pretty much everything from him. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah, it's probably going to cost me a little bit more, but their stuff is beef and uh, warranty-wise, and of course his support all the way. But when I put the hydro lines over here, at least Kubota had this little uh, holder down there thing of a jigger. So I'm able to use that. And where Cat's lines come out, it's nice. You don't use a bunch of line when you're rotating my other grapple the lines came out of the center ish or like off the top here so every time you would curl or uh tilt down or anything your lines would have so much stretch to them so this way short lines nice and enclosed and together i did add this to keep these lines together i also put this wrap under this sheathing here you can see right there and then i had another piece of large sheathing to put over that just my uh little preventative wear because uh, this is going to be riding back and forth inside of this little hold down, so shouldn't wear through anything. Um, got the excavator buckets loaded up just in case I need them at the job. Um, I'm taking these with me now because this is going to be a lot lighter load than when I take the 310 with me. I'd rather delete 2,000 pounds worth of buckets right here, so that's just going to make the tow a little bit easier. It's around 10 o'clock right now. Uh, finally got everything all done together. I added some stickers stay back 300 feet that's mainly stay away from me oh uh, uh of course had to add my america stickers yeah about the bulk of it and this sucker right here is all good and ready to go hydro lines are all plumbed up and uh greased her all up and she's uh operating good and i'm i'm excited to actually use that on a job so get all this chained down let's uh let's head out to our uh, first delivery it's gonna be a bunch of back and forth today so uh, let's get started all right so we're shooting down the hill here gonna drop off the skid steer in the buckets for now i just called the customer left him a message i'm like hey coming down and start dropping stuff off so uh, things are going good it's slowed down for a little bit it's uh, starting to kick back up here uh got a few jobs in the books that uh, are confirmed and uh, ready to go uh, kind of like this one that I'm heading to right now. We're doing fine, you know, got back from Moab, had a great time out there, and uh, it's hammer down time. Let's, uh, let's make some money this season, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for this season. I, I got like a, that, that good gut feeling, like it's gonna go. Like it, it's not up there just yet, but I have a good feeling about everything. Um, registration on my truck came in. I don't know if I said that already, uh, probably on another video, but freaking. $1,900 for the registration. Uh, it's going to say it like that. And that, and no, like if you guys wonder, oh man, it's ridiculous. Well, it's still ridiculous, don't get me wrong. But on the flip side, look at this building. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Maybe someday. Um, what was I saying? Oh, registration. So I think the truck itself is like seven or 800 bucks and uh the rest of the insane less expense is because of the weight tags i have on this truck so fifty-four thousand pound tags i think those by themselves those stickers cost me twelve hundred dollars on top of the truck's registration then whatever other fee california wants to trickle in to take the money so 
People can talk trash about California all they want, but I tell you what, we got some beautiful skies, beautiful scenery, beautiful mountains. A bunch of idiots, don't get me wrong. A stupid government, if you ask my opinion. Um, and they definitely yoke you for every little dang cent you could possibly make out here. But on the flip side, there are so many people here, and there's such a huge economy, there's a lot of work. You guys can just submit your own opinions about this state. But on the flip side, bam. I was about to go on that entire tangent all over again. We're just going to drive and get to our destination. I'll see if that customer even calls me or not, but I'm still going to make my way there. In the meantime, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the weather. There are small things to be thankful for. That's the on-ramp when I'm getting onto the highway from coming down the hill. It's downhill. I can actually mob down a little bit, get some speed. I don't have to always truck it uphill to start merging. Like I'm already doing 50 miles an hour. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I don't have that much weight on the trailer, but still, it helps out. I like it. I did a boo-boo also. I called the wrong customer. I told him I'm dropping equipment off his property when I haven't confirmed or done anything yet with that guy. <laughs> Whoops. He'll probably call him back. What are you, what are you talking about? Like, uh, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong person, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I you know, figured out the right spot. This is going to be fun to be flipping around and get all situated. They got this big old pile right here in my way, of course. You just never, oh, let the fun begin. The thing that does scare me about new construction homes is uh, the asphalt's never really completely cured all the way, especially with new asphalt and a lot of weight. They never make these, these lifts thick enough. I do not want to destroy the asphalt. I think I should be able to flip around it over there just fine. So let's, let's get all this stuff off my trailer. Nope, I can't think speed binders. Speed binders. Possibly in the future. I really, really want to set. Who wants to sponsor me for some speed binders? I was putting everything over there and I was thinking about it. I'm like, ah, this is more up and out of the way. So at least, you know, if a truck comes in there or something like that, I doubt we want to get around this burn pile, really. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's go get our next piece of gear. You know, it is definitely much colder up in elevation today. I was uh, about to take off my long sleeve here. I'm happy I didn't. They got chilly. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be my first time uh, operating one of these, so uh, let's see how I do. Hey, there you are. Where's your turtle? No? Okay. Sun's out. Trains are going. Puppy dog sniffing. He left this turtle. Make sure I don't let him forget that. Camera. He always has to back up and think about it. <laughs> this guy can jump over a dang fence. train. Alright, 
I just topped it off on fuel. It took like uh, 25 gallons. I'm just gonna top it off on depth also. It's like, I don't know, a third low maybe. Topped off is good. Good, good, good. If I fall, I ain't gonna post it, FYI. Food. Oh, yeah, more. We got some in and out. I don't know who's on the uh, like southeastern side that has Whataburger. I know that's always a controversy between In and Out and that place. I have no opinion. In and Out's good from the photos and the styles of food that Whataburger has. And number one, they do have bacon. That's a win in my book. Papa Dog, come here. I got homeboy some grab with you, so we're gonna sit down, eat some grab, wait for homeboy to get here, and give him some money. Alright. Oh man, I love driveways. Not that big of a deal. Ooh, that's dusty. Rolling up the window. Watch out. Watch your nose. That feels super cool. My new necklace. And number two is done. Now time to go get the excavator. Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, dogs. I don't know if you can tell how steep that is. Probably can't, but it's like that. <laughs> okay. It's steep enough that I didn't want to take my truck down it, so. That's, uh, that's at the road. play musical chairs with all the trucks make some extra room here uh, I parked my truck over there at the corner and uh, we, ha we have a good amount of room but not enough room and then whoever was here before put this uh, pile of stuff in the wrong spot so I'm gonna move this out of the way real quick if it even smolders looks like they tried burning it with some ashes in there getting into the fun stuff now.
definitely couldn't do this with a dangle. Well, at least kind of like do this. Of course, this thing has so much power, it just rips everything right out of the ground. Look at that. Everybody's getting mad at me, like all my buddies like, it's not a grapple bucket, it's a grapple. I'm like, I know. I'm trying to get the bucket part out of my mouth. Because I got so used to saying, you know, grapple bucket, you know, for a skid steer. So, uh, yeah, I, I finally got that out of my system for the most part. Probably still say it here and there. It's not that bad. But I am loving it. Give it its few, few scratches here. <laughs> I'm being cautious, trying to learn it also at the same time, but, you know, check and see what the hydro lines are doing when I'm moving it in different orientations, make sure I don't rip anything off. You know, all that kind of comes with the curve and learn. Be careful now so I don't have a two hour downtime trying to repair a hydro line. That is not the goal. But I am enjoying this a lot. It's super easy to set up material for the skid steer to pick up so it's not at a wrong angle for him to grab it. It's uh, very, 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 very nice. I like it. And yeah, I want to do be very careful when doing this because the hydro lines are so close to the ground. You can, you know, take one little branch and not pay attention to it and come up between those and just pop them straight off. That would not be cool. Don't want to do a dumb move first thing in the morning. Give us some stuff to snag and grab. Yeah, I go. explanation the guy that uh, owns this amazingly beautiful house now these are all new construction um, he wants to get a fence line in and of course all this uh, wetland stuff is right in between the property line so we're getting this all cleared out so he can uh, get a fence installed and all that stuff so this is uh, stage one of that there's gonna be a lot more work that goes on here um, again, this is not my job. This is uh, my buddy Carlos's job. Uh, he just he hired me to help him out because uh, I have a little bit bigger excavator, make it a little bit easier on him, so he can get through all this stuff a little bit quicker. And there's gonna be like some dirt work that's gonna be going on over here and whatnot. So getting the bulk of all this organics out of here going to make his life a lot easier. So that's the goal. Well, of course, my uh, battery decided to die the moment I started getting into the fun stuff again. So I've already done all that and uh, I've already caught up with the 040. Just tells you how productive this uh, grapple and this machine is. So, I'm gonna make sure he watches out here. I wanna smack him. I just take this whole clump of tree out right here. It's all been cool. Just 
like a bat. Probably bit off a little bit more than I could chew there, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Oof. Yeah, that, I don't like that limb hanging out there too. Clean that up just a wee bit. Maximum cat power. So I can like chip it away a little bit and just peel it. I don't know if I can do that. That thing is green. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can. I think I'm splintering it pretty good. Now I just need a tree shear and more attachments. Oh, I'm never gonna make money in my life. There she goes. Stuck up on a grapple. There you go. All righty. So it's been a little bit. We uh, keep on clearing out over there, getting everything stocked out here. We're gonna start chipping now. So this is the end of day one. Uh, I am putting day two into this video also here shortly, but I didn't know the neighbor, property neighbor, um, he walked over. I didn't know he actually, I used to work with him a few times. Uh, he looked super familiar and he started uh, sharing a few stories that we're on the same job together, but I don't remember seeing him. Uh, but here's a good story on how bad things can happen very quick, uh, just like that. You remember the guy that got hit by yes, the baller? Yes, in the link belt? Yeah, yeah, so I was there for that. I, okay. I had to call 911 for that one. That yeah, I heard about bad. that. I forgot what foreman or the great center I was with, he told me about that. Oh, okay. That's funnier than shit. Yeah. yeah. No, I've worked with Western Engineering since then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember his last name, guys. but his name was Jay. And yeah, he broke his nose, all kinds of bones. I just I just heard it was a shoulder. I didn't know. No, it, yeah, it, it came through the cab, it bent the sticks, broke the window obviously, yeah. bent the sticks over like that, and just hit him like, oh, I mean. Yeah, I remember hearing about that, I was just about to say it too. I, when, once he got rolled off, 
I had to, he, the stick was still in the air, so I had to lower everything, you know? And I asked the fire department guys, I was like, can I get some gloves? I mean, the cat was covered in blood. I was like, I don't know the guy that well, can right. I get some gloves? Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Sometimes you just had to out of nowhere. Yeah. Like that. We're almost done with that job. So here we are on day two. Uh, doing the front of the property, we didn't know what we wanted to chop down or what we wanted to do until we had confirmation on what we wanted to do. So uh, this is the next morning again and uh, getting the half, I guess third of the property all the way to the street completely cleared now. I got this thing all bucked up with my new MS500. Did short work of it. That was awesome. All this stuff's gonna be going through the chipper. Just 
stack this up. Up and out of the way. I'm gonna finish up fueling all this. Uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I got some kind of good footage. I, I kind of lost track of what I was doing. Uh, other than that, not bad for a first day chipping ever in my life with a track chipper. Other than that, let's uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, please subscribe, and have a good one.